Hi, I'm Penny. Welcome to this video. And here's Miss Hannigan. And we're going to do a morning yoga video to get you started in the morning. So go ahead and have a seat on your mat. You can cross your legs, put one leg just in front of the other, and you can sit on a block if you'd like. I have the sunglasses on because it's a little bright out here. But So close your eyes, pull in your abdominals, straighten your spine, head over your shoulders, over your hips. Close your eyes, come up with an uplifted intention for your practice. Take a breath in and exhale. Breathe in again. Exhale and one more time, take a breath in. Exhale, come off of your mat and let's go into a child's pose at the back of your mat. So push yourself into a wide-legged child's pose. Hands can go out in front. Palms can go up in the air. And take a breath in. And exhale. And breathe in again. Exhale, and one more time, take a breath in. Exhale, push up into your downward facing dog. So just plant your feet into the floor or the mat or the ground, wherever you're at, and just pedal your hips, pressing your heels down. They may go down, they may not, and that's okay. So take a breath in. As you exhale, come up on your toes, bring that right leg up into the air. Bring the right knee into your chest and step it in between your hands. And you're welcome to take your blocks if you have them and put them in front to give you a little more height. So take a breath in. And as you exhale, drop that left knee down to the floor. And we're going to do a little bit of pulsing lunges here. So come forward with that right knee. And as you exhale, take that, straighten that right leg, pull your toes in. Take a breath in, opening up this hip flexor, come forward, exhale, take a breath in, open up that hamstring, pull the toes towards you, stretch your calves. One more time, come forward, opening up this front hip flexor, take a breath in, and as you exhale, one more time with half Hanumanasana, which is just half splits. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, you can leave your hands on the block, so put them on the mat. I'll leave mine on the block, show you what that looks like. And as you exhale, just press your feet back into downward facing dog. Breathe in. Exhale, take your left leg up into the air. Bring your left knee forward and step it in between your hands. That's why it's nice to have these blocks here. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, go ahead and drop that right knee down to the floor. And I'm going to move these blocks so you can see what this looks like without using blocks. So we're going to do some more pulsing lunges. So take a breath in. And as you exhale, straighten that left leg. Pull your toes towards your nose. Pull your abdominals in. Breathe in. Exhale, come forward. Take a breath in. Exhale, go back. Breathe in, come forward, stretching out this, ham, uh, this hip flexor on this right side. Breathe in, exhale, come back, stretching out the hamstring, pulling your nose to your toe, excuse me, your toes to your nose. Breathe in, two more times, knee forward. You can squeeze this right glute to get just a little more activation in that front hip. Breathe in, exhale, come back, pull your toes to your nose. One more time into this lunge, opening up this right hip flexor. One more time back, pull your nose to your toes to your nose. Now try not to collapse. You're actually trying to pull your abdominals in and have some integrity into your spine. Come forward into that lunge, 
place your hands on the blocks or on the mat and come back into that downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and pedal that out. Push back into your hamstrings, getting a nice spinal stretch, pulling your abdominals in. Come forward into your plank position. And if you'd like to come drop your knees, chest and chin into a cobra position, just push up off the floor, activating your back. So take a breath in and exhale. Breathe in again and exhale. And one more time, take a breath in. Exhale, push back into your child's pose, up into your downward facing dog. Walk all the way up to the top of your mat and just hang, getting a nice stretch in the back of your hamstrings. You can bend your knees slightly if you'd like to. And just swing a back and forth just a little bit. And shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shrug your shoulders because, you know, you may not have all the answers and that's okay. Take your left hand and put it behind your right ankle. And give a nice twist, putting your right hand on your hip to that right side. Take a breath in. And exhale one more time. Breathe in. Exhale. Bring your hands down. Keeping some tone in your abdominals, take your right hand towards your right ankle or just your calf and keep a straight spine as much as you can and twist towards that left hand side. And take a breath in. And exhale. Breathe in again. Exhale, and one more time, take a breath in. Exhale, come back to that forward fold. And let yourself just roll up all the way up into a standing position. And since we're getting ready for the morning, let's go ahead and open up our chest. Take your hands behind your back. Push your heels of your hands together as much as you can. Pull your abdominals in. Pull your shoulders up, back, and down. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, come back forward again. You can bend your knees if you'd like. It's up to you. Keep your hands together as much as possible. And take a breath in. And exhale. Breathe in again. Exhale. And one more time. Take a breath in. Exhale. Bring that hands down. And roll back up. Release your hands. Bring your arms slightly forward. So your hands are up in. Like they're reaching towards the sky. Pinky fingers towards you. And come into your chair pose. So pull your abdominals in. You don't have. It can be a high chair or a low chair. It's up to you. And take a breath in. And exhale. This helps tone the abdominals. Breathe in again. Exhale, and one more time, take a breath in. Exhale, come back to standing. Bring your arms, right arm up into the air. Look up at the sky and push your, or the ceiling, and push your left hand down, getting a stretch onto this right side. And if you want, you can take that right leg slightly behind that left and get a nice stretch in the sides of the hips. So take a breath in and exhale. Breathe in again. Exhale, and one more time. And exhale. Come back to center. Ground yourself again in your intention for the day. Bring your left arm up and reach over to that right side, keeping some integrity into this left side. And if you'd like, you can also step that left foot slightly back. And just stretch towards the sky, towards the roof, whichever you'd like. Take a breath in. And exhale. Breathe in again. Exhale. And one more time. Take a breath in. 
and exhale, bring your arm down, come back to center. Bring your arms up into the air, come into a forward fold, come into a flat back, and step or jump up to you into your plank position. Knees, chest, and chin. Take a breath in. As you exhale, push back into your child's pose. And breathe. Walk your hands over to your right side. You can put your right hand on top of your left and get a nice another stretch in this left side. Take a breath in and exhale. Breathe in again and exhale one more time. Take a breath in, exhale. Just as a reminder, my breath cues are just to remind you to breathe. You breathe when you're comfortable. Walk over to this left side and you can take your left hand and put it on your right, getting a nice stretch into this right side. So take a breath in and exhale. And one more time, take a breath in, exhale, and last time. Take a breath in, breathe all the way into your back and exhale, bring your hands forward Let's come up into some cat cows. So bring your head forward. Breathing in. Exhale, round your back. Breathe in, head up. Exhale, pull your abdominals in. Breathe in, head up. And exhale, pull your abdominals in, round your back, and come back to this flat position. Let's get one more twist in before we finish this session. Bring your right arm up and twist it underneath your left, getting a really nice stretch into your spine. You can push with your right hand, I mean left hand into the ground, getting a nicer stretch. So take a breath in and exhale. Breathe in again and exhale. And one more time, take a breath in. Exhale, come back up, bring that arm back up. And let's do it on this left side. So keep some tone in your abdominals. Bring your left arm up, thread it through the needle on this right side. And you can push into this mat with your right hand, or you can even bring your hand behind you and do a bind. So take a breath in. This is what a bind looks like. Exhale, breathe in again and exhale, and one more time, take a breath in, and exhale, last time, breathe in, and exhale, bring that arm back up, push it into the floor or the mat, pushing your right hand, open up to the left, and come back into your tabletop position. Now from tabletop, let's go ahead and have a seat. And I know that this is going to be a short morning practice. Let's cross our legs the opposite way. So if you don't know which way you crossed your legs before, it's probably the direction you normally cross it. You're welcome to have a seat back on a block, or you can just sit on your mat, straighten your spine, close your eyes. It's a little sweaty out here. Come back to that uplifted intention for your day. Close your eyes, bring your thumb and forefinger together, open up your palms into an open receiving position. Focus on what you want to receive for the day. Breathe in and exhale. And one more time, take a breath in. Exhale, last time, visualize the day you wish to have and exhale. If your eyes are closed, open your eyes, bring your hands into a prayer position. Take a breath in. 
and exhale. We'll finish and seal our practice with one sound of peace, one sound of Om. Take a breath in. Om. Namaste. Thank you so much for participating in this short yoga session. This is great to start your day off, but you can do this at any time of the day. Be good to yourself and each other.